Hey, what's up, Reefers? So, um, the cycle is pretty much over. Uh, right now, my tank is just trying to get rid of all the existing hair algae. Um, and check this out. Look at this Scarlet her um, Hermit working hard. Plugging away at a strand of these green algae right here. So, in my 45 gallon tank, I got about, I think, six of these guys. Uh, although, to be honest, this is they're not really making a big dent. Look at all these guys right here. Um, the good thing is that I guess it kind of exhausted all the phosphate in the water, um, at least for now. And uh, they're not really exploding anymore. And now it's just a matter of uh, cleaning out all the existing one, um, especially with the ch uh, Cheeto macroalgae growing well in the sump. Now these hay algaes have competitor, so they're not really growing that fast anymore. But the problem is that a lot of these, they're kind of growing out from the rock. And from like the gap of rock, holes in rock, which I cannot get my fingers into. So I cannot manually pull them out. And that's when I really rely on these cleanup crew. Now, I'm not a huge fan of crabs because they're so op opportunistic. Uh, meaning that if there's like a sick fish or anything like that, they, if they can get their hands on it or get their claws on it, they will go after them. So typically, I try to shy away from them, but um, I do like the Scarlet Hermits. I feel like Scarlet Hermits is the, one of the most reef safe ones compared to like Blue Lakes. They're super aggressive. Um, so besides these guys, I actually picked up two really small Emerald Crab today as well. Um, can't really see. I think, I think there was one guy kind of like under these little red macro, but i um, pretty sure we can't get it with the camera. Anyways, besides that guy, I also got a, a YC on the sand. Can't really see him. Camera's not really focusing. But, uh, yeah, there's a little sea urchin right there. So it's like a long spine black sea urchin. I'll get a better video of him in the future. Um, never seen one that small. And sea urchin, they tend to like mold down algae, good or bad, even Carolina algae. And sometimes they cause this stress. Or like SPS and stuff like that, uh, it will actually strip the tissue. So I'm, I'll be watching this guy a little bit, care, uh, a little bit closely. Um, and these guys get huge. That's a long spine, a black long spine urchin. So I feel like maybe half in half a year, a year, I may have to trade them. Uh, I'll give them away to some uh, somebody with a bigger tank with a hair algae problem. I kind of went to the back. Anyways, yeah, I'll get a better. Uh, can I focus here? Oh, that's better. better. So I like these guys, right? Because um, they have a uh, they have they usually form a relationship with cardinal fish, especially buying big cardinal fish. The sm when the fish are small, they tend to swim between the spines. Uh, of course, not right now. Obviously, I don't have fish, and um, this this uh, long spine urchin is actually tiny. The body is probably the uh, size of a dime, if even that. But they're super cool. I've always wanted to cap one. Um, I figure right now my tank has nothing for it to knock over or to poke, so nah, might as well grab one right now while I still can, and we'll see how it goes. And he definitely has a personality, has has a character. So there we go. Um, these guys are the hair algae racking crew for me. Um, the Scarlet Her uh, Hem I can't speak. The Scarlet Hermits. Long black spine, black long spine, sea urchin, and I actually got two tiny emerald crabs in here too that I pick up today. Um, figure, you know, let's clean these up once and for all. And look at look at that guy right there. Uh, camera can't focus. Ah, oh, look. Conk is working hard. I guess that guy's full, so I just kinda taking a break. And I guess that's a problem too. Like I feel like small hermits like this, they're great for maintenance, but they cannot really cut back on a, a hair algae explosion like this. So I'm helping them out, doing manual, manual manually pulling them out. Um, at the same time, make sure they have competitors in the refugium with macroalgae to slow the growth. 
so the cleanup crew has a chance to kind of catch up um, and with and with the addition of the long black spine <laughs> man I keep saying it wrong black wait let me try it again black long spine sea urchin there we go with the addition of that dude and two ammo crap I'm hoping that we can finally get rid of all these hair algae from cycling and we'll move on to adding corals to the tank Alright, until then, I guess I better go get some food because obviously I'm so hungry that I cannot really speak right. I'll talk to you guys later.